Hi, I am Movie Man. I am an octopus that reviews movies. And today's review is going to be on... So I saw the Boogeyman there two days ago. And what did I think of it? In my opinion, it was all right. It was not a great movie. It was not an amazing movie. It was just, it was okay. It was fine. It was an all right movie. Um... So, first off, the cinematography and the editing. Um, so, I would say that the cinematography in this movie, um, it is pretty good. Um, like, this film has a, it has a very, like, dark color scheme. Um, and, like, yeah, so much of this movie is shot in the dark. Um, and, um, I would say that the cinematography is pretty good. Uh, I think that there are some genuinely nice shots in this movie. Um... I'd say the editing was pretty good too. Um, like, I thought that the way all the shots were, they, the way they were all like, edited together, I thought I thought that I thought it was done pretty well. Um, then there's the pace in this movie. Um, now, this movie is not very long. It's only an hour and 38 minutes long. Um, however, I will admit that for a movie which has a runtime of only an hour and 38 minutes, uh, I will admit it, the, the pace can honestly be kind of a slow burn. Um, because, like, I feel this movie, it does kind of, it does go by, honestly, pretty slowly. Like, it's a very, I feel it's a very, kind of, kind of slow burn kind of a movie. Um, but I didn't really mind it much, to be honest. Um, then there's the sound and music. The sound and music, um is honestly decent like i mean um like there's like the, the score and stuff it's kind of it's very it's kind of dark kind of kind of a bit spooky and stuff and overall i'd say it makes for a pretty decent score um then there's the characters Dad, you have um, so, the main character, Sazy, in my opinion, she was very good. I really liked her. Um, I thought that she made for a very good main protagonist. Um, and Sophie Thatcher does... Honestly, a very good performance, in my opinion. Katie, there's something in my room. Younger sister, Sawyer, she was pretty good too. Um, she didn't get quite as much screen time as her sister did, but... I thought she was pretty good too. I I liked the performance from Vivian Lyra Blair as this just a sweet little girl. Um 
And yeah, um, I thought she was she was cute, like she was she was a sweet little girl. Um, okay. Their father Will, he was pretty good too. Um, he didn't get quite as much street as I thought he was. Um, but honestly, I thought I thought he was he was a decent enough character. Um. I thought he and his daughters has this very yeah it was it was definitely a family dynamic kind of film and oh it was done pretty well, um. That and uh, there's there's a few other characters in the movie and I think most of them are pretty decent um, like you've seen the trailers and um, the character Lester. That's David Dasmalchin's character. Um, now he's actually only in the movie like briefly, but I thought he was very good. Um, I think David Dasmalchin he did a very good performance. Um, so that's kind of about it in terms of the characters. Um, well, there's also the there, but yeah, there's one more character I'm forgetting, and that is. The titular character of the movie itself, the Boogeyman. Now we do see like tiny bits of the Boogeyman's, like you know, like its hands and stuff poking out of the closet throughout the movie. Um. However, we do we do not actually get to see the full Boogeyman until around the end of the film, and uh, the the third act. Um, and in my opinion, the film, the film, I think, I, I do like what the movie does there as, um, it, it follows the Jaws rule of, you know, not showing your creature until the third act. Because, like, I mean, that way it makes it more suspenseful and honestly a lot creepier because even though you don't see the creature, you know it's there. You feel Feel its presence. Now, in the film's third act, eventually the boogeyman does, you know, come out of the closet. And, um, I'll be honest, um, when we do get to see the boogeyman, um, I think, uh, I, I th I'll say, I'm gonna be honest. I actually thought the Boogeyman looked really bad. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it did look scary, but I think, like, the, the, the CGI for the Boogeyman, it looked honestly really bad, just the way it moves and everything. But, I will admit, it looked way better than the Boogeyman from, you know, that other Boogeyman movie from 2005. So, you know, at least there's that. good plot um of course um this movie is based off of a uh, off a short story by Stephen King well you know it's loosely based off a short story by Stephen King um and yeah I mean I've never read a uh, Stephen King short story so I cannot make a comparison. Um, I thought the film, you know, it has a simple enough plot for a horror movie. It's just, you know, um, you have these two daughters, you have the father, um, their mother died off screen some time ago, and they're grieving the loss, and then of course there's a boogeyman coming to haunt them and stuff. Um, 
Yeah, it's a simple enough plot, not very original. You can say, yeah, I've seen that plot like probably like so many other times. Um, in my opinion, well, um, I thought the film executed pretty well as the film it mainly focuses on Sazy, you know, being haunted by the boogeyman. Um. And yeah, I thought I thought, I thought you know, it was very it was very kind of a creepy movie, um, like um, I mean, like the film the film I thought the film had a very good atmosphere where like um, you know throughout the whole film it's kind of building up you know like it's slowly and slowly building up to that third act you know and. I thought the film did it pretty well. Um, and then there's also the narrative structure. Now, like, I'll be honest, um, I was kind of mainly focused on, you know, the whole plot about, um, like, about Sazy, you know, and, like, um, like, and I, and I just stopped the boogie and I'm coming to haunt them and stuff. Um, there was one or two subplots like him. As I mentioned, like, the film mainly focuses on Sagey and Sawyer and Will. They're here as well, but they don't get quite as much focus as Sagey does. Um, I think the film is alright when it focuses on the two of them. Um... There's also kind of a soft part involving like David Daspal Chin's character Lester and his family and stuff, um like his wife and their child. Um I thought that soft part was alright. Um I thought it played into the film's main narrative very well. Um there was like there was also this little like soft part involving Sage and her friends and like Oh well, like, her friend like getting her to become friends with people and I'll be honest, I wasn't really a huge fan of that subplot, it just I just really didn't like it and I, I, it was just such a stereotypical like they were just stereotypical characters that I didn't, I, I didn't like it when the movie focused on that aspect of the plot. Um, it didn't focus on it for too long, but I just wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, but, but whenever the film did focus on its main plot about the Boogeyman, it did it pretty well. So overall, the Boogeyman is an alright movie. Um, it has mostly decent characters. Good cinematography, a decent execution of a plot, kind of a slow build up. Um, there, there was there there was that one aspect of the plot that I mentioned which I wasn't a huge fan of, and I also just I really didn't like how the booking had looked when we got to see it in the third act, but um. But chat, but aside from that, this is an it's an all right movie, yeah. For me though, I feel like I feel like this movie is gonna be just, just kind of a one time watch for me. I don't know if I'll ever, I'll ever plan to like you know rewatch it again. But overall, I thought it was an all right movie. It didn't have the most original plot. Um, there was there was some aspects I didn't really like that much. The Boogeyman didn't look very good in the third act. Um, well, I thought the pace was very kind of slow burn for an for a movie that's only ninety eight minutes long, but it it was by found it fine and I thought most of the characters were decent and I executed this plot, you know, kind of a decent way and it was a very good cinematography, so I'll give the film all that. Um So it's not an amazing film. It's not as good as the, the movie I saw before last, but it was an alright movie. Um, and if, if you're interested in Shanky's House, I'd say it's a one-time watch. Um, 
So with that, I'm going to give the Boogeyman a 6 out of 10. So with that, I'll see you guys next time, and bye. Ah, another day, another review. Well, I can't wait to see Transformers Rise of the Beast this weekend. That's definitely going to be my next review. Wait. Guys, um, that's not me opening up the closet, by the way, um, that, that's not me opening up the closet, um, uh, hello? Oh, that's right, it's... There's light in the room, and the boogeyman only comes when it's dark, so... Yeah, there's no boogeyman. Ah!